Hey Lemfam! In this video, we're gonna help Hanjan book more meetings as a freelance writer. If you're new to this channel, every single day I'm taking one business problem from one real people around the globe and I'm helping them solve it. Pretty simple, I give really actionable tips on how I would personally do it. And if you're interested in sharing your struggles, so I record one of these videos, please go check this video and leave a thoughtful comment with as much detail as possible. Hanjan was basically telling me that it was struggling to book more meetings with is called outreach. So we're gonna see a cold email teardown, but also I will review his website and what I would personally improve in his strategy. Whenever I'm on Angel website, the first thing I can see is, is a freelance writer for SaaS and marketing brands. I think it's great and pretty niche, but I would niche down even more. Here, I would say, for example, freelance writer for B2B SaaS. That's it. It's very specific. And if you are like a B2B SaaS content creator and you need freelance to help you out, this guy is a guy. So that would be like the feeling. So the more niche you are, the better. The second thing is the photo. The photo to me doesn't look super professional. There is a sunglasses. We can see the person like taking the photo, etc. So this is something I would edit. The other part is obviously create a site with Strikingly. Creating a website doesn't cost that much and it's a great investment for the future. You can get paid easily with your content and invest directly once you have one or two people who paid you into a very professional website. If you just started, I would then focus not on the website, but on my LinkedIn profile. Here, we can also see that Enjan actually got the first spot on Google, but also some testimonial. Here, the design should be, in my opinion, redone. And again, here, putting just screenshot of people who gave recommendation could be arranged differently. Here, for example, I would simply take their photos from LinkedIn and create a nice testimonial, copy pasting what they said. It will just look more professional overall and then build more trust to people who are just visiting the website. Here it's more or less the same. The way the portfolio is outlined is not that great and it's not very readable and it looks a bit weird to be honest compared to all the blogs that we are getting used to read on. So same here, I will just work on a professional website and the way I would personally do it is for example, go to Webflow and then buy a template that I can customize and make my own afterwards for freelancers for example. So here, as you can see, it costs 49 bucks and it looks very professional. You have also something about the services, little effects, past project that looks like really cool that you can just edit and put to yourself, photos that look professional. And at the end, as you can see, like super cool testimonials. So I would just reuse an existing template that looks super good and that doesn't cost a lot. When you are a freelancer, to make more money, you have two options. First option is to get more customers. Second option is to get customers that can pay you more money. So investing in yourself, in your brand and in your website can help you build trust and go up market. So you will do the same amount of work, but for a much higher rate, which is basically what I would advise you to do. And then after that, from being a freelancer, you can then grow your content agency and build like a really big company out of it. Again, for me, what was a bit striking on the website is you are writing content, yet there is no blog. As a content writer, you should be having a blog. The way you write is basically an insight pick of your brain. And whenever people want to work with you, they should understand the way you write just because it will give them trust into giving you some very specific topics to write about. So if you are a content writer, always have a blog. I was looking at Enjan copywriting and cold emails that he's sending to understand why he's not getting replies. And after that, I thought about the entire strategy. Here, the email is pretty straightforward. Hey Dean, then there is an icebreaker, then there is a challenge, and then after that, it's the sale. Obviously, the structure of the cold email is not that great. I appreciate the fact that there is an icebreaker breaker, which is quite cool because it shows that Enjan is doing the research before reaching out to someone. But the connection between the icebreaker and then the ask is quite there yet. I don't really like cold emails that are spotting directly on a pain point. And to be entirely honest with Enjan, I think that the strategy should be entirely different. I would never go for the sale. I would always go for the relationship first. Enjan is a freelance writer. So let's face it. As a freelance writer, if you have, let's say, five clients paying you two K per month, it means that on your own, you can make 10K per month. So the way I would personally do it is reach out to people and ask them for some time to record an interview. The interview would be about specific topic on your niche. Let's say that Enjan is focusing on B2B software. I would make a list of all the B2B software companies and I would start writing content, interviewing founders or content creators, etc., etc., around my niche. That way I can build a lot of connections in 
that specific area. So the way I would phrase it, it's like, hey, first name, I'm writing an article about how B2B software companies are creating content. And after reading article name that you wrote, the idea here is to make some research about article that they have been writing. And then you can put between brackets something very specific. I specifically love the part where you chat about X, Y, Z, end of bracket. And then you say, and I'd love to interview you about this topic. I'm already discussing with big name one, big name two, big name three. Those big names can actually be other people that you're reaching out to. And I'd love to include you in that article if that's cool with you. It only takes 20 minutes of your time and it will be a nice backlink to your website. You see what I did here? I answered that one specific question. What's in it for them? What's in it for them? It's a backlink. Every content writer love a backlink. A backlink means a link from a website to your website. Why it's important? Because it allows your content to rank higher. On top of it, it's not only what's in it for them, it's a backlink, it's also being showcased with other big brands that you have mentioned. Even if you have not yet a contact with those brands, the fact that you're contacting them is kind of a great way, you know, like uh, it's always the same problem. It's the chicken and the eggs. So at first you need to fake it a little bit to start getting people. But in the end, you're not doing anything wrong because you're just interviewing people and creating content for them. Once you create that content, I would reshare it with them and ask them what they think. Step by step, they would understand that you are like a B2B SaaS content expert. And once you have your blog ready, a professional website, and really like a good portfolio of what you've done, then the trust will be there. And I can assure you that amongst the people that you would have interviewed, a lot will ask you to become a content writer for them. On top of it, if that still doesn't work after like, let's say three weeks to a month, the way I would do it is reach out to them directly saying, hey, not sure if you remember, but I wrote XYZ content the other day. I'm actually like a freelance writer and right now like I'm trying to build up my portfolio. I would appreciate if you could give me a few topics to write about. I will not get paid for it. I will do it for free. And if you like it, then down the line we can cooperate and do more work together. The goal of this, a lot of people are telling you like, yeah, when you're a freelancer, like don't do this for free, etc, etc. When I first started my agency, to be honest, I helped tens and tens of companies for free. Like I was doing solid four or five hours of work for free. I could have charged or probably not because I didn't have clients. So long, yeah. But at least I started building a portfolio. And once you have a solid portfolio, even though you did it for free, it's an investment for the future. So for me, I would just offer to like, don't offer tens of articles, obviously, but offer one or two articles to people, build your portfolio across like famous companies or big logos, etc. And once you have that, you're ready to go. You're ready to do a bit more outreach, but I can assure you that among those people, a lot of them will convert. Here, I would also, again, work a little bit on the personal brand. I can see that he has already like thousands of followers, which is great. I love the tagline, which is like for SaaS brands. But again, I will try to be even more specific. So instead of just freelance writer for SaaS brand, I would put like, I write articles that help B2B SaaS brand generate leads. Again, so you help who achieve what? That's like a great way to create great outlines and it allows in a blink of an eye to understand what you are doing and who you are helping. And here on the bio, I would also in the about section, I would just focus on that. So I would say, hey, if you're here, it's probably because you're either like a head of content or a content creator yourself in the B2B SaaS space. My name is Anjan and here is what I'm doing. And again, I will keep boosting and posting content on LinkedIn. You're a content creator, so create content. Really like eat your own dog food. That's literally the best way to grow and also build trust amongst your audience. I hope Hope it was helpful and please ping me and Jan once you have like awesome results in a couple of months. If you are watching this video and you're facing struggles in growing your business, finding a job or whatever problem you might have that is business related, of course, please leave a thoughtful comment on this video with as much info as possible or email me directly at guillaume at lemlist.com. Every single day I publish new videos to help with real business cases. Peace. Have a great day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boo.